Hello travelers, welcome to Lore Spire. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at all of the spells in the Lich Mythic Spellbook. I will detail the spells that are unique to the Lich, but all of the other spells will simply be listed. If you are here because you plan to play a Lich when Wrath of the Righteous releases, you should really check out this video here, which details the Lich Mythic Path. Timestamps are in the description if you want to skip ahead. Now, before we get to the spell list, I need to let everyone know that these are all of the spells you get if you choose the Lich Mythic Spellbook. If instead you decide to combine the Lich's Spellbook with your class Spellbook, then you will receive the spells that are unique to the Lich as bonus spells, but you will not receive the other spells listed here unless they are included in your class's Spellbook. Okay, now let's get to the spell list. Okay now, the Lich's level 1 spells are Bane, Cause Fear, Doom, Grease, Inflict Light Wounds, Mage Armor, Ray of Enfeeblement, Ray of Sickening, Shield, Sleep, and Touch of Gracelessness. None of these are unique spells. The Lich's level 2 spells are Blindness, Bone Shaker, Command Undead, False Life, Frigid Touch, Glitter Dust, Old Animal. Inflict Moderate Wounds, Invisibility, Mirror Image, Pernicious Poison, and Scare. Again, no unique spells here. The level 3 Lich spells are... Bestow Curse, Contagion, Corrupted Blood, Crushing Despair, Deep Slumber, Displacement, Fester, Haste, Hold Person, Inflict Serious Wounds, Mastery of Flesh, Overwhelming Grief, Poison, Power from Death, Flow, Spit Venom, Stinking Cloud, and Vampiric Touch. Okay, so here we finally get to some unique Lich spells. First, we have Corrupted Blood, which corrupts the enemy's blood, making it contagious. If the target fails its saving throw, it becomes nauseated for one round per caster level. If the creature dies, while under the effects of this nauseated condition, it deals 6d6 damage to all creatures within 15 feet, and those creatures have corrupted blood applied to them. If the target succeeds in its saving throw, it becomes sickened instead of nauseated. Each turn affected creatures can make a new saving throw. Next we have Mastery of Flesh, which when used on an enemy, deals 4d8 plus caster level damage to a living target, or 2d8 plus caster level damage to an undead target. If used on an ally, it heals undead targets for 4d8 plus caster level, or living targets for 2d8 plus caster level damage. So it's a spell that provides either healing or damage as needed, which is both versatile and effective. Last, for the unique level 3 spells, we have Power from Death. And to me, this is the best of the level 3 spells, as it should remain effective throughout your entire playthrough. Power from Death gives the Lich a plus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and damage rolls for every dead creature within 30 feet. This bonus is capped at plus three, plus an additional one per five caster levels. If the bonus received from this spell is three or higher, you also gain the effects of a haste spell. This spell lasts for one round, per caster level. Level 4 spells include Animate Dead, Bone Shatter, Consume Dead, Death Ward, Innervation, Eyes of the Bodak, False Life Greater, Fear, Greater Invisibility, Ice Storm, Inflict Critical Wounds, Phantasmal Killer, Unholy Blight, and Vampiric Blade. Consume Undead deals 1d8 damage per caster level to enemy undead and heals the Lich for the total amount of that damage. If used on a friendly undead, this spell is maximized, dealing 8 damage per caster level and healing the Lich for that total amount. Next we have Eyes of the Bodak which causes all enemies within 30 feet to gain one negative level each round, and it lasts for one round per caster level. Now, the description here says enemies only, but 
you can see here in this video that it also works on NPCs. So you probably don't want to use this around anyone that you prefer to keep alive. Last for this level, we have Vampiric Blade, which causes the Lich's weapon to become bloodthirsty. The weapon now deals an additional 1d6 plus caster level damage, and the Lich is healed for that same amount. This lasts for one minute per level. Okay, now for level 5 spells. We have Bellful Polymorph, Bone Explosion, Cloud Kill, Cone of Cold, Deny Death, Exsanguinate, Feeble Mind, Hold Monster, Icy Prison, Inflict Light Wounds Mass, Phantasmal Web, Profane Nimbus, Repurpose, Slay Living, Vampiric Shadow Shield, Waves of Fatigue, and Racking Ray. Bone Explosion is our first unique spell for this level, and like most of the others, it's great. If the target fails its Fortitude saving throw, it is dealt 6 damage per caster level, and all creatures in a 20 foot radius are dealt 1d6 damage per caster level. Creatures affected by the AoE damage get a reflex saving throw to have that damage. If the target of Bone Explosion succeeds in its Fortitude saving throw, it is dealt 1d6 points of damage per caster level, and all creatures within 20 foot are dealt 1 damage per caster level, with a chance to have the damage. Exsanguinate is exceptional, as it deals 6 damage per caster level, and if the target fails its fortitude saving throw, they receive an additional 1d6 strength damage and 2d6 bleeding damage. The guaranteed damage here is just so good, like so good, especially on higher difficulties. Next we have Deny Death, which is just useful. It lasts for 10 minutes per level and prevents the target from dying if they take lethal damage. Instead, they simply become paralyzed until the end of combat. The last of the unique level 5 spells is Repurpose, and this spell might be the most anticipated spell in the entire game. It marks a target with a Curse of Servitude. For one round per two caster levels, the target takes 1d6 points of damage per round. If the target dies while under this effect, it is revived as an undead creature under the Lich's command. This spell is not affected by spell resistance and the enemy gets no chance to save against it. I have tested this spell on quite a few creatures and it seems to work on all of them, even bosses. Okay, the level 6 spells include Banshee Blast, Blasphemy, Bone Shield, Circle of Death, Cold Ice Strike, Create Undead, Disintegrate, Eye Bite, False Grace, Fester Mass, Harm, Plague Storm, Primal Regression, Siphon Life, Siphon Time, Umbral Strike, and Undeath to Death. First up we have Bone Shield, which offers some solid defense, giving the caster a plus 6 shield bonus to AC and immunity to critical hits. Next is False Grace which is a buff that grants 3d10 plus caster level temporary hit points to all allies within 30 feet for one hour per caster level. Siphon Life is a medium range touch attack that deals 1d6 damage per caster level and gives the Lich a number of temporary hit points equal to the damage dealt. These hit points last for one hour. The last of the Lich's unique level 6 spells is Siphon Time, which affects all enemies and allies within a 30 foot radius of a targeted creature. Enemies gain the effects of the slow spell and allies gain the effects of the haste spell. This spell lasts for one round per level. The Lich's level 7 spells are Blessing of Unlife, Destruction, Beast of Blood, Finger of Death, Ice Body, Inflict Serious Wounds Mass, Insanity, Poison Breath, Power Word Blind, Restore Undead, and Waves of Exhaustion. Our first unique level 7 spell is Blessing of Unlife, which makes an ally similar to Undead, giving them all Undead Immunities, Negative Energy Affinity, and DR5 Bludgeoning for 10 minutes per caster level. 
Next is Beast of Blood, which is an area of effect Exsanguinate that only affects enemies and it gives the Lich temporary hit points equal to the highest damage dealt to a single creature. Gotta love it. Last we have Restore Undead, which fully heals all undead within 100 feet of the Lich. Now who doesn't want to recruit an all undead party after hearing that? I know I sure do. The level 8 Lich spells are Bestow Curse Greater, Death Clutch, Domain of Hungry Flesh, Embrace of Death, Frightful Aspect, Horrid Wilting, Inflict Critical Wounds Mass, Polar Ray, Power Word Stun, Soul Reaver, and Unholy Aura. Domain of Hungry Flesh is just cool as hell though your enemies will probably be thinking of it more as terrifying as hell. It creates a terrible abomination in a 20-foot area that attempts to trip everyone inside of that area each turn. This trip attempt uses the Lich's caster level and highest spellcaster ability score instead of using a base attack bonus and strength ability score as a normal trip attempt would. It also deals 2d6 plus caster level damage, entangles enemies, and deals 1d4 damage to a random physical ability score. This lasts for one round per caster level. Okay, final level. The level 9 Lich spells include Corrupt Magic, Energy Drain, Flay for Purpose, Hold Monster Mass, Icy Prison Mass, Negative Eruption, Polar Midnight, Power Word Kill, Well of the Banshee, and Weird. Our first unique level 9 spell is Corrupt Magic, which is basically the same as the Dispel Magic spell, except that for each spell that is dispelled, the target receives a minus 1 penalty to attack and damage rolls, saving throws, and AC. Next we have Negative Eruption which is just so awesome. It deals 10 points of damage per caster level up to a maximum of 150 damage to each creature in a 30 foot radius centered on a target creature. If a creature succeeds in its saving throw, the damage is halved. Additionally, undead are healed instead of taking damage and all undead affected by this spell gain a plus two to their attack rolls, damage rolls, will saving throws, and gain temporary hit points equal to the Lich's caster level. This is just one more spell in a long list of spells and abilities that make the Lich's undead army very powerful in this game. Last, we have Play for Purpose. Play for Purpose functions the same as the Repurpose spell except that it deals 2d6 damage per turn, and the target does get to make a saving throw against this spell. If the save fails, the target takes 10 damage per caster level. If it succeeds, it still takes the 2d6 damage per turn, and is still brought back to life under the command of the Lich when it dies. I sincerely hope that this video along with the recent Lich Powers video and Lich Mythic Path video, has given everyone a full understanding of what the Lich is capable of. There are so many build possibilities with the Lich, and they all promise to be very powerful. Let me know in the comments what kind of Lich build you're planning, and which of these spells you think that you'll be utilizing the most in your build. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. It really helps me out, and I truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Have a wonderful day.